Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Thank you for joining. As you come on, share the broadcast. Samuel, hey, share the grace. Share, share, share. I'm just sharing the broadcast. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Share it with your followers. Tweet, tweet it out. Whatever you need to do. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. God is so good. God is so good. Glory to God. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. How are you? God bless you. Each and every one of you that join the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the grace. God has given me a word for you today. God says, stay firm, stand up, stay strong. Oh, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. As you come on, share the broadcast. Share the grace. Hey, everybody. Glory, glory. I have a word for you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to read the word of God and talk about what thus saith the Lord. What God has been talking to me about. Standing firm. Standing strong. Staying connected to the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. Make sure to follow me, amen. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and on Facebook. So if you can't reach me here on Periscope, friend me, Debbie Wilson, on Facebook. Thank you for joining. And I take prayer requests via Facebook Messenger. You type those in and I follow up on those. But right now, right here, I'm here for you for prayer, you know. God's been telling me that... Um, uh, some people, you know, myself included, I guess we could say everybody that joins the broadcast in general have been punking out. I mean, this is how the Holy Spirit talks to me in the sense you have not been standing firm on your convictions on the word of God and what you pray about and how God consults with you or gives you direction. You've been letting other people show you what's best for you or uh, what what's best for your life. You've been, instead of you co communing with God directly, you, you've been waiting for other people to give you the information. And so God is saying, stand firm, stand strong. You are not less. You are above and not beneath. You're the head and not the tail. You don't have to sacrifice your life, your goals, your aspirations for somebody else's dream. That God has sent you here for a plan and a purpose for your life. And he wants to bring that to fruitation. Amen. I'm just so excited about the things of God and the Holy Ghost and the direction that he's leading me and how he's using me. Come on in. Come on in. Share the broadcast. Share the grace. Share, share, share with your followers. If this is your first time catching me here on Periscope, Prophetess Debbie Wilson, let me know and let me know where you're watching me from. Amen. Stand up, stand firm. I have, I'm going to read the word of God and just talk about what thus saith the Lord. Amen. He says, some of you have not been, you've been shrinking, um, in, in the presence of other people that you feel are better than you or, or living this life better than you. And, um, you know, God is not pleased. He's not pleased. He's expecting you to love yourself, to meet your needs, to, you know, to love others as well. But I'm not talking about, you know, some people, all they do is love themselves. That's narcissistic people. But I'm talking about in general for those that lack confidence or those that are always doing for others and not doing anything for themselves. God is expecting you to stand up 
And know that he is all powerful. That no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. So amen. So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you have a prayer request, type that into the broadcast. And I'm going to pray for you right now. Right on this spot. And as you come in, you know, continue to share the broadcast with your followers. And um, type in your prayer request. But God is saying, stand up. Stand strong, stand firm, believe in what I tell you. You are not lesser. You you don't have to sacrifice your goals or what I've given you to do for somebody else that a lot of times doesn't really care, that's emotionally abusive or, you know, challenge you in the emotional realm. He's expecting you to stand firm, to stay strong, to stay connected to him, to his voice, what the Bible says. Amen. Don't go into bondage. You know, some people come from the world come out of bondage and then they get into the Christian world and they get back into bondage again. God is not calling for any of that. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is peace. There is power. So love yourself. So he was telling me, stand up, stand firm, and tell them to love themselves as he loves you. God loves you. There is nobody any better than you. There is no situation better than your connection with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So stand firm, stand strong. Don't be bamboozled or fooled by the enemy. Things that are looking good in this um this earthly realm or culture or social, how you've been socialized, trust what it says in the word of God, that God is not a respecter of persons. He loves everybody the same. That's man's rules that says, if you live a certain life, you're successful. If you're married, have two children, two two cars, a house, I don't know, that's what it is here in America, house with a white picket fence or You know what I'm saying. You got lots of friends that come over and socialize. That doesn't make you any more valuable in the eyes of God. Those those are earthly um, material standards. That's not what God is asking for. God is asking that you be sold out to him wholeheartedly with all of your being, with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your, with your everything. And that you stand up to people when they say things to you that, that are belittling or not, um, you know, some people are rude. You know, I'm not saying stand up, you know, you got to choose your method by attacking them, but stand up knowing that you are, that you serve a God who is all powerful. You are son and daughter of the King. You are not beneath anybody. I don't care what they say. These are the things that God has been talking to me about to stand up, to stand firm, you know, and, and, and uh, a lot of people are asking for financial breakthrough for uh, husbands, wives, uh, just, you know, different things, the typical things that people ask for. Well, God is saying you haven't been standing up to what he's telling you to do of the direction that he's telling you to do. You're letting people take things from you that don't deserve it and, and don't care. They're coming and eating and then they're leaving. So God is telling me to tell you to stand up, to stand firm. Amen. So as you come on, share the broadcast with your followers and share the broadcast, you know, just, just, you know, just continue to share, tweet it out, whatever it is that you need to do. Amen. Let me know where you're watching me from. If this is your first time catching one of my broadcasts, Prophetess Debbie Wilson. And, uh, you know, and if it's not your first and just let me know who you're watch, where you're watching me from. I like active participants, pump those hearts and likes and, and, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time here. I'm here for you today though. And if, as you have a prayer request, just type it into the broadcast. I'm just trying to make sure the sound is working. Everything is working. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So let's just read the word of God. And like I said, if you have prayer, re- oh, Vanessa. Oh, okay. Oh, been, been, oh, God bless you from Denmark. Wow. Well, greetings from the United States. 
Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. I'm here in Michigan. So God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God is so good. Oh, oh, I thank him. I praise him. God bless you, Vanessa. God bless you. God bless each and every one of you that has joined the broadcast. Amen. 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 God is so good. Yes. Amen. You know, so this is the word that God has given me. Stand up, stand firm. You know, a lot of times we, we're afraid. We're afraid to move forward. We're afraid to make decisions. We're, we're just afraid of everything. And, and you can take that to God. Take your burdens to God. Give it to God. God already knows what you're doing. God already knows the difficulties that you have in your life. So you can trust him. You can just, if you believe, you will receive. Amen. And so I'm just going to read the word of God a little bit. And like I said, as you have prayer requests, you can type that into the broadcast. Or you can friend me on Facebook and send me your prayer requests via Facebook Messenger. Uh, so it says in Isaiah 54 and 17, Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment. It says thou shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. You know, when people say things about you, you know, in, in judgment, you know, God is watching. God is seeing. So you can stand firm. You can stand strong. You can, you can not shake. You can just know that God is with me. I know I'm valuable. Um, no matter what kind of judgment they place upon me or what they say, you know, you don't have to just shrink, you know, and say, oh, just keep beating me up. Just keep uh, emotionally abusing me or just keep, you know, just keep, you know, God will help me. No, God is expecting you to be strong, to rebuke them, to, to, um, you know, I'm saying in a, in a godly way. But, you know, you don't have to feel that you're less than anything because, you know, your father is not a respecter of persons. And I'm and as I'm talking, I'm just talking to Christians and and everybody. I believe everybody in this broadcast has accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior. If you haven't, just ask him to come into your heart. You know that you love him. You accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and just get to a church, a Bible believing church and um, get with a pastor or a Christian friend or or somebody, you know. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, yes. Yeah, so but, you know, just just stay strong in the things of God. Don't don't uh, let your mind fool you and get in becoming depressed or uh, feeling defeated because your life may not be conventional like somebody else's life. It's all about what God wants for you in your life. You know, that's what it's all about. A lot of times we don't have the things that everybody else has because we invested our time in the wrong people or our money in the wrong places. Amen. So a lot of times we don't have because of the decisions that we made. We got all messed up in our head or we thought somebody else knew what was the best thing to do with our lives and they turned out wrong and we wasted a lot of years or we weren't obedient to God. So therefore... And we don't have the all the things maybe we see as somebody else have. But you know, God is a God of miracles. He can restore it. He can bring it all back to you. If you just trust God and believe and you stand firm. Stand firm on the, on the word of God and in your prayer life. And the things that the Bible says to believe in. And learn to commune with God and actually trust God with your whole heart, with your whole mind. You know, and say, oh God, I just... I, I trust you on this part, but this other part, I'm going to have to take care of myself. No, that's how we get ourselves in trouble, you know, or we think somebody has a, a better avenue to God or closer to God. They know more about God. They can remember the Bible verses. They can speak in tongues better. They can, no, 
That's not what it's all about. I mean, you know, speaking in tongues is a spiritual thing, but it edifies the person that is speaking in tongues. Uh, it doesn't mean that that person is any closer to God than than you are. They just may have some skills that you don't have. Amen. Yeah, so pump those hearts and and uh, let me know. You just say amen. Thank you for joining. Uh, as you come on, share the broadcast. Share the grace, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. I'm my ministry is Sanctuary of Love International Ministries. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Oh, I love all these hearts. Thank you. There's life. I need to know there's life out there. Yes. So I'm talking about stand up, stand firm, trust God. You are not lesser than anybody. You, you, you know, you're the head, not the tail. Nobody has an inside uh, lane to God any more than you have. But you just have to, those people just decided to stand up, to sell out to God, to make it known that they believe in God and, and the, how God is all powerful. They're no different. No different than you. And like I said, if you're not living a conventional life or your life doesn't look like anybody else's, maybe God wants it that way. Maybe God is protecting you from all this stuff in the world. You know, you got to be grateful for the things or the situations that you have. Amen. But trust God. Stand up. Don't punk out. Don't, don't like get scared. And even if you're scared, let, let work that out with God, work that out. Cause see, we need to expand the kingdom of God. We're all witnesses of the kingdom of God. Amen. Somebody needs to see that the light is making our lives stronger. You know, that, that, that we can do some things that we have some blessings. You know what I mean? That the enemy is not, not, uh, pushing you away or, or making you fearful so that you miss blessings. We miss opportunities because of fear. We're not standing up. We're not standing firm in the things of the supernatural realm, you know? To get it in the natural, you got to pull it down. You got to activate it from the supernatural realm. Amen. So, yes, I'm taking your prayer request. So if you have a prayer request, type that right in. Amen. And um, while I'm thinking, my spiritual father, Prophet Jack Shekinah Glory, has um, a prophetic class that will be starting, I think it's a, it's a Friday. And um, so that's, if you want to learn about the prophetic, you can contact him. But he also has deliverance classes and classes on evangelism, just a whole array of classes. He can be reached at sgloryvision at gmail.com. You know, if you want to increase your spirituality or your knowledge about different things, the prophetic and, 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 and about your life to take a look into your life and see, we all have areas in our lives that we need to be delivered. So there's no more sense in hiding it because God is expecting you to stand up, to stand firm. Amen. So in Ephesians 6 and 11, it says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You know, that devil has a lot of wiles, boy. He, he can come up with some stuff. He knows where your areas of weaknesses are. So it behooves you to, um, Try to strengthen yourself in your areas of weaknesses because the devil will try to attack those areas. Um, oh, God bless you for Phil Philadelphia. Asking for a prayer. Uh, uh, it's the Holy Ghost. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the devil will try to attack you in those areas where you are weak. So, so like... You can't, if you, you better give it to God because he can see he's been studying you all your life so that you can improve. Take those classes, deliverance classes or prophetic or what, whatever you want to take. But, um, it behooves you to get knowledge in these areas so that the, the devil's not able to attack those areas and send you off the path that God has, um, has had, you know, created for you when he, you know, when he created you, there was a purpose and a plan that he had for you. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 God. Yes. God. So prophet Jose, um, from Philadelphia, 
Jo, jo, yes. Um, I just pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that God would lead you and guide you in the direction that he would have you to go, that he would shine a, a light on the path that's in front of you, that he would lead you and guide you and just show you, uh, you know, by the power of his Holy Spirit, the plan, the purpose, the instructions, the directions for your life. Oh, I see ministerial direction, uh, increase, overflow, abundance in the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, I just see blessings in store for you. Fruitfulness, multiplication. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, receive it, receive it, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are secure. No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Oh, you are the head and not the tail. Oh, God, just be with them. Just restore him just just make the crooked places straight in his life jesus it is so it is so it is so it is so in the name of jesus i pray amen amen yes your territory is gonna enlarge that's what the holy ghost is saying your territory is going to be enlarged Amen. Amen. Stay connected. I, I look forward to the good, uh, good testimony. Yeah, you will testify. You will testify of the goodness of the Lord. So just stay connected. Make sure to, uh, follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. Amen. Amen. It is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you so God so much. As you um, join the broadcast, share it with your followers, everybody. Share the grace. Somebody might need to be encouraged today. Somebody might need prayer today. Oh, thank you for joining. Thank you for the hearts. Amen. Oh, glory, 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 glory. I'm taking your prayer requests on this broadcast. You can also friend me, Debbie Wilson, on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel, Prophetess Debbie Wilson. I'm on Instagram, D Wilson 709. Oh, thank you for the hearts. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love the people of God. Thank you for the hearts. God bless you. Bless you so much. Let me know where you're watching me from as you, when you join the broadcast. And if this is your first time catching one of my broadcasts, Prophetess Debbie Wilson, my ministry here in the United States is Sanctuary of Love International Ministries. God bless you. God bless you. In Luke 17 and 3, it says, Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. So God is expecting, is expecting us to stand up. Stand up against the certain things that people say. But if, if, they, if they're sorrowful, forgive them. Forgive them if they repent. Don't hold a grudge or anything against anybody. But don't take in things that are not of from you, from God, from the kingdom of light. Because when you take those things into your body, it can create diseases and darkness, okay? Keep your body light. Keep it filled with the things of the Holy Spirit. Keep your mind positive, amen? Amen, amen. Glory to God. I'm loving these hearts. It says, stand fast. Okay, in Galatians 5 and 1, it says, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. We have liberty through Christ Jesus and not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I don't care what the system is. You know, there's systems in this world. There's systems in the Christian life. Don't be entangled where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Stay free. Stay free. Amen. And you're going to have to fight for it. So you're going to have to, to stand firm. You're going to have to fight. It's a war out here. You know, we're, we're in a war, even though people act like, you know, once you have received Christ as your personal savior, that everything's going to go smooth and your life's going to be beautiful. That is not so. God suffered. Jesus suffered when he walked this, this life. So why, you know, why should we expect not to suffer? Not to be discouraged, not to be 
anxious uh, not to have times where we, we don't understand what's happening, you know, but you just have to keep going, knowing that whatever you're going through is temporary. It's not permanent. It doesn't last forever. If you faint not, the blessings are just over the horizon, just over the other side. So don't give up. Stand firm. Stand your ground. God is with you. Amen. You're winning. It may not look like you're winning, but you you have the victory through Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. It says uh, in first Timothy five and eight, it says, but if any provide not for his own and especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So God says, if you don't provide for your household, you're worse than an infidel. So you got to stand even for job to have a job or to maintain employment. Do things, but I have always turned it around. Yes, you always have to turn it around. Amen. You always have to turn it around. You know, turn it around, you know, because you have to be strong. It's not all going to be perfect. This is not a perfect world. This is an imperfect world. So why should we expect anything different? Okay. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Standing up in the face of adversity, standing up in the face of when things aren't fair, standing up when you don't see how you're going to make that bill payment or standing up when you don't know you only got so much food and hopefully some money will come in. And I'm telling you, you just be surprised what we go through as men and women of God. You know, people don't talk about it, but this message is about standing firm. It's about standing up no matter what what you're going through, what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So in uh, Psalms one and one, it says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. God says you're blessed. If you walk not in the counsel of ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So God wants you to watch the company that you're keeping. You know, he don't want you around the company of the ungodly. I know a lot of times we think, oh, we can kind of help them pull them along or um, get them to accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior. You know, we we love people, you know, but all the time it can pull you down. It can make you depressed. It can make you have despair, make your heart weary because things, you know, they're not growing. They're just stagnant or they're not there for the same purpose that you are. You might have a goal and they're not even wanting to be a part of their goal. It might just be me, me, me. What can I come to take from you? So you have to be really careful because, you know, it's, it's, it's a war out here. Be careful your company. Be careful. You know how many people were brought down or didn't make it to their goal because they were in the company of the wrong people? So, yeah, so don't ever have spent all of their lives trying to please the wrong people and got stuck. So this is just, this is just a message that the Holy Ghost has given me. Stand up. Stand firm in your beliefs. Stand firm on your goals. Um, stand firm on your responsibilities, you know? You know, so, yeah. So, you know, I know God gives us grace, but there's a responsibility part to grace. You know, you, you can't just do whatever you want to do and act however you want to act and be whatever you want to be and expect the grace of God to just, oh, I'm under God's grace. That doesn't give you permission to do what you want to do to people or to hurt people or to just live any kind of life. Stand up, stand firm. You know, if you believe in God and you believe, you believe that you have eternal life and you believe the Bible, try to walk like the Bible says, try to commune and pray. And, you know, this is a message. This is the Holy Ghost talking. Stand firm. Amen. And if you catch this broadcast on replay, just know that you are blessed. God loves you and that all is well. Just stand firm. God is saying, stop shaking. You know, build yourself up in the supernatural, the, the spiritual realm. And like I said, I mentioned some classes earlier in this um, broadcast that can help you in that area, you know? So God is good. 
In Proverbs 18 and 2, it says, A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. So a fool is all consumed with themselves. How can they make their lives better? A lot of people are taking other people down just because they're selfish and they're not caring the consequences, what happens to that other person's life. So be mindful. Just be mindful, you know? Um, you know, God, God is not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind. So stand firm, stand firm and continue to sh share the broadcast with your followers and follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. Glory to God. What's storming here. So in Psalms 69 and five, it says, Oh God, thou knoweth my foolishness and my sins are not hid from thee. So God knows the areas you're struggling with. Don't think that you can get away with anything with God and that he doesn't see it, that he doesn't see that you're shaky, that you're um, compromising your values at certain times for certain people. But just do better. Just do better. That's all God has said. Do better. Stand up. Stand firm. Be strong. God's got your back, okay? God's got your back. So just, that was the message that the Holy Spirit gave me to deliver today. I just want you all to know I love you all with the love of the Lord. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. Sanctuary of Love International Ministries is my ministry. I can be reached at dwilson709 at iCloud.com. Friend me on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel. Subscribe to that. And I'm on Instagram as well. So God bless you. Have a wonderful night. And remember, or a wonderful day, evening, whatever time it is where you're at. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Shalom. Bye for now. Thank you all for joining. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you.